Mm, and it hits to the beat so well, look at her rise! Holy shit! Hello and welcome back to my channel. We've reached our final Queendom performance, at least in terms of the group performances, because I think you guys have mentioned that uh, a few of the members had solo performances, or maybe there's one with Minnie and someone else from Queendom, not a part of G-Idol, but another group that takes part in Queendom. Uh, but in terms of just G-Idol, this closing uh, performance of Lion is their last one. I'm also going to start with the opening, because a lot of you wanted me to check that out. So we'll go with the opening first, which is like a minute long, and then lead into the Lion finale. And then uh, as for what we're going to do next with G-Idol, I do not know. For those of you that do not know, I am opening up a Patreon. I said that I would at 5,000 subscribers, and thank you so much. We have eclipsed that. I really, really appreciate all of your support. But I want you to comment down below. I'm asking this of all the big groups that I typically react to, you know, Dreamcatcher, Stray Kids, groups like that. Um, and G Idol is one of them. What would you guys like to see in terms of uh, Patreon content? And I want to limit this to typically the longer form videos, full album reactions, things like that. Uh, longer form, I mean in terms of checking out episodes of Queendom, checking out really long, uh, you know, episodes of their iTalk, like multiple episodes, or um, any kind of like reality series or variety shows they might be on, like a weekly idol or any uh, long form interview views they have things like that concerts if there are like full uh you know live concerts some groups release i know like bts and exo have have ones like that i'm pretty sure uh but stuff like that is, is something i want to know from people who watch me what you would like to see in terms of exclusive patreon content and also all my blocked um reactions will be on there uh regular ones most likely just for free now that i have like a lane to post them so like for g idol oh my god i could not post the reaction with the audio without it being cut out so i'll post the original uh version there on patreon once it's launched in about a week week and a half so please, I would really appreciate it if you just let me know um, what to post on there. That's enough for me. I'll stop rambling. Let's get on to the reaction. I think a lot of you said that this was one of Soyeon's faster raps in this intro. Like even the like doublets that she has there, like the the the, the cadence of her rap is the same in the intro. You know, and Gerald don't seem to have like any dance breaks for the most part in any of their songs. So like that was the most I've seen so far. Uh, they don't really do that, and I'd love to see that because uh, I want to see Sujin do her damn thing. And uh, I got a little bit of that in the previous reaction when uh, she kind of really highlighted fire for me. But um, outside of that, I haven't really seen her do like a ton of individual dance, which I, I would love to check out. All right, on to Lion. This was their closing song, right? This is already starting out incredibly epic with this like organ church score. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom. What? There's even and like a... Uh... Are there any captions to this by any chance? Yes, there are. Before the throne started. The wall was so terrifying. There's a whole story narrative for this? Everyone. Very cool. In the middle of a brutal battle, a young girl cried out, I am the queen. Everyone sneered at her, since she was just a little girl. However, she didn't listen this to This is so this. elaborate. I wasn't expecting this. With her life, with all her might, after the long war, she returned as a queen, and those who saw her said, She is a lion. So what what was the first time that people heard the song Lion? Like it wasn't was it first on Queendom before they released it like uh like the MV? Because I don't think the MV came out before this, right? It came out after it? I'm not sure. Intro plus line. Mm 
They're like Roman soldiers. I feel like I'm in God of War right now. Is that Shua too taking the fucking center stage right now? Ooh. Wow. This is fucking something, man. Holy shit, look at her. Good lord. Minnie's openers are always so good. Wow, their outfits are unreal. It seems like there's already fan chants or something in the background, so maybe people did know this song when this uh, aired for Queendom. I've noticed Sujin a lot more in these live performances. Mion's parts in Lion are my favorite in the song. Mini's opener and Mion's parts, definitely. Ooh, these also these backup dancers are killing the game. The way they slid up there on their knees. I did not expect Shua to open up this whole thing. She really, really killed it, and that's just I, I feel like she isn't highlighted enough in a lot of their songs. Really noticing Sujin in these live performances. She's incredibly charismatic. The camera loves her. Oh, this is Mion's high note here. Woo! Fuck! This audio mix sounds a little weird though. Um, I think it's purely maybe the upload or how it was recorded by Mnet. I don't know. Their vocals seem very muted in a way. Um, Mix is a little odd. God, Uki and Mion have such good voices. I love oh, everything about the colors here. Their outfits are so regal and gorgeous. These outfits, are, I don't know if these were the ones that they wore, but that shot... Um, in the Lion MV, when they're in front of like that marble blue looking staircase with these stark red outfits, just gorgeous. Oof! Killer visuals by Shua here. Now this rap part from Soyeon is one of her fiercest, like best, because it just rises and builds and becomes more and more intense. My my kitten stepped on my keyboard. Listen, buddy, listen. You're very cute. You're very, very cute. They all love you. They all love you. But you can't you can't step on my keyboard. I'm sorry, little man. I'm sorry. Okay, hold up. Let's find where we were. Let's find where we were. Okay. He tends to do that. He tends to do that. Oh look, and now we have like things popping up. Mm, and it hits to the beat so well, look at her rise! Holy shit! That's fucking cool! She knows it too! Look at look at the look on her face. She's like, yeah, I'm that shit. 
I'm hot shit. They're all putting on killer faces. This friggin' run show walk they've got. Whew. And then, yeah, as Sujin closes this off just as well as Minnie opens it. Look at all of them crawling behind them. What? The stage performance is so cool. They're the queen lionesses of the pack. Ah, oh, man, those dancers add so much to it. That was awesome. What a way to end it. Because I feel like this was kind of a way to say what the opening said that they are the queens that they are the lions um and they've shown it across like different types of performances although uh kind of going at least for uh latata and put it straight with that creepy nightmarish spacey vibe which is my favorite my favorite and i hope they have like a full comeback of that sort soon um i got into k-pop really hard around september october of last year so i didn't really see any halloween creepy theme things like you see in the summer you get a lot of summer type comebacks um i'm wondering and hoping that in october we get to see something that leans more for the holiday in terms of releases and i think g idol would suit that so 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 well um with minnie's vocals in particular would suit it incredibly well um and you've seen that they're capable of doing stuff like that with the put it straight and la ta, -ta remix um but this was a absolute perfect way for them to end their performance on queendom uh, i don't know where they finished in the voting i don't know if at the end of queendom there's like a in summation if it's just like performance by performance or if it's like an in summation this is the group that won queendom i don't know you guys can let me know down in the comments but shit they seem to me like hard ones to beat although because they're a new group i can see how k-pop works that they wouldn't win just for that case alone um but yeah i really enjoyed all of these performances and you guys were very very right uh, you need to see them live uh when i was reacting to all the title tracks because it is like just another layer of expertise and talent that you get to see conveyed in their live performances loved it so much again if you enjoyed this video please like it down below please subscribe if you are new here again as i said i'm opening up a patreon very soon so for those of you that stick with me and and watch a lot of my videos or maybe you just watch all the g idol videos let me know what you would like to see in terms of very long form things i'm talking like 30 minute plus 40 minute plus uh type of uh videos that i can put on patreon that you'd be interested in and i'm you know i'm not looking to charge a terrible amount you know i'm looking one to five dollars is what i'm gonna have my patreon probably be but you guys let me know and i'll catch you in the next video what do you got to say to the people huh you got something to say anything say hello Good boy.